Hello, and in this video, we're going to be discussing the tabs versus spaces war. Um, this is kind of a battle that's been going on maybe since the beginning of computing, or at least, oh, am I in the camera? <laughs> or at least uh, as long as Unix has been around, I believe this war has been going, going on. Um, yeah, so should you use tabs or spaces for indentation and in code in case you don't no, I think I've got an example here. Well, no, I don't. <laughs> you know, as you're indenting code, um, you need some kind of white space to be indenting that code. Um, some people want to use spaces. Some people want to use tabs. Um, you would not think that this would cause as much controversy as it has, but this has been going on for decades. Um, there is one agreement again amongst the factions, generally speaking, is uh, you should never mix tabs and spaces. So like on one line, do not indent with a, a tab and then a few lines down, do four spaces or eight spaces or whatever size you're using. Um, that will drive pretty much everyone crazy on both sides of the war. Um, you don't wanna be, you don't wanna be that person. Um, okay, so before we go any further, I really wanna say, um, Follow your style guide. Um, if your project or workplace has a style guide, then follow that style guide. Always, always follow the style guide. Um, that that this could, that's why it's there. Um, if your style guide does not have um, guidelines regarding tabs versus spaces, it was really a style guide. I would say no. Um, this is exactly the kind of thing that a style guide is intended to address. It's, it's intended to address these issues and come to a consensus or, you know, dictate, you know, the way it is, the one true way to stop these arguments from even starting. Because as a group, you're saying there's one way to do this, so we're never going to talk about this again, or at least outside of discussions about the style guide. Like if you open up the style guide to have changes, that's the time to discuss it. But other than that, we just don't want to continuously ha having the same argument about tabs and spaces or how many spaces or all other things that a good style guide can prevent. Um, spaces have a couple, pr some pros. Famous people like them. Um, Guido, Joel Atwood. Um, yeah, but there's, uh, there's a lot of famous people. Just because a famous person likes it doesn't mean anything really. Um, it helps a little. <laughs> Just because, I mean, occasionally you can bully people into saying, well, so-and-so says this is the way to do it, so that's that's the way we should be doing it. But that doesn't mean they're right. Um, it does make for a more consistent display. Um, hopefully you're using a mono space font. Um, so, it's going to be one column. It's going to be one column for each space. And if you decide like four or eight, it's always going to be that same length. You would think that this would be the case with tabs too. You're like, well, you know, it's the same. different systems will have different displays of tabs. So on some systems, you know, a tab will be the equivalent of four spaces or eight spaces, or it'll be like some weird in between. It can depend widely on systems. And that means that if you, your code will look wildly different on different systems. And so one argument for spaces is generally they should always look consistent. Um, another thing about spaces is that a good editor can give you pretty much all the advantages of tabs while using spaces. Like I use Atom and Atom just chain, when I hit the tab key, it just puts four spaces in there for me. Cause I've already give, given it up. I'm, I'm a spaces person. I don't really feel incredibly passionate about it. The part that I feel passionate about is don't mix them. Please don't mix them. Um, yeah, so most of the editors can make that tab key equal however many spaces you want to use. Um, tabs, the pros and tabs. Um, the first argument that I hear frequently is that, <laughs> uh, that it's a smaller file size, which is absurd. I mean, it's totally true, right? You've got one character as opposed to multiple characters, but does it matter? Like, I would love to see an example out there. I'm sure it exists, right? Because there's a lot of low memory systems, like 
back in the day or even currently, right, where that might actually matter. But I just, I think in the days, these days when discs are so huge and memory so cheap, um, it seems a little desperate. Uh, fewer keystrokes, um, that's true. You know, if you're using spaces, you have to hit that space bar multiple times, whereas tab, you can just hit it once. Um, though I would say if you're using a decent editor, that can be kind of gone away. Like I said, Adam, I hit tab, it puts four spaces in there. I only have one keystroke, so. Um, tabs can be, um, oh, tabs are, that's what they're intended to be. This is the best argument here. I almost skipped it. This is the best argument for tabs that, um, Tabs are intended to be used for indentation. Spaces are used to space, to separate words. Using tabs to indent code is using them, using tabs for what they were intended to be used for. Like that's what they're there for. So that's the best argument. I, I don't, I mean, I don't really have an, a reason to say that why I don't use tabs myself. It's just a matter of habit, but that's a pretty good thing. It's use, use what things were intended to be used for. Um, it can be easier to navigate, which is true. Um, sometimes, I mean, some editors um, will treat large spaces of weight, large um, widths of white space as just one kind of block and it will just, as you're arrowing around or whatever, just immediately jump over. Other times they won't. And um, if you're using an editor where you do need to um, go through each character, that can be annoying when you're going through um, somebody else's code. Um, you'll see this a lot of times with tabbed people that they will be upset because when they're going through someone else's code, they, they're they already upset because you're reading somebody else's code, <laughs> which always will make you upset. Um, and that is just one more thing of like, oh, I've got to I've got to arrow through every single one of these. Um, uh, let's see. The last bullet point here is it can be the it can be the only way to get things to line up properly if they're proportional fonts. But once again, I would say don't use proportional fonts in code. Like I don't, I don't know of anybody that uses proportional fonts in code. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just, maybe, maybe the majority of people out there are, and I, I just don't know. I don't really know that many of other people, I suppose. Um, but I don't know. If you are using a proportional font, this is a really good argument, but I would say don't use proportional font. Use a use a mono size font. You're you're going to be a lot happier. Um, and that's it. That's uh, all. This is going to be a quick little video. I uh, hope you possibly found it useful, and I ho hopefully I haven't wasted too much of your time. <laughs> if you like the video, hit the like button. Um, and if you want to see more of these videos, um, subscribe. And uh, yeah, have a very good day. And if you have any other ideas for short videos, um, put them in the comments and I will um, look into making shorter little tech videos about little things like tabs versus spaces. Thank you.